What's up Guardians, Profane here, thanks for checking out the video. Today we take a look ahead at Season 18 to discuss the possible return of the single greatest character in Destiny's illustrious history, Cade Six. Now I know the thought of Cade returning might sound crazy, but if you take a look at some recent developments in this season's story, you'll find it actually makes perfect sense to see Cade return as early as Season 18. Before we dive in further, if you enjoy the video today, then please be sure to help support the channel below by hitting that like button along with the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Both are greatly appreciated. Throughout Season of the Haunted, we as Guardians have watched those around us fall to the torment of their nightmares. Nightmares of Gaul, Sophia, and Prince Aldrin have all played substantial roles in this season's narrative. A reoccurring question has been what the nightmare of the Guardian would be, and why has this nightmare not been present since we participated in the binding ritual? Well, today I pose the idea that it is our dear friend Cade Six who is the nightmare of the Guardian, and that we will face this nightmare of Cade in season 18. Cade is certainly the logical nightmare of Guardians. We would hold ourselves responsible for Cade's death. Even though we were successful at avenging Cade's death, we never found our own catharsis. We were there, we could have done more, Cade didn't have to die. These would have been thoughts that would circle the Guardian's mind over and over again, even now, years later, especially now that we bear witness to the rest of our friends and allies fall to the torment of their own nightmares. These personal torments mirror those of Eris, who was stricken with her own nightmares of her own fallen fireteam. Fireteam members like Ariana III and Toland. Nightmares we helped her overcome in Shadowkeep. And now real time, we find ourselves failing to stop Callus, failing to push back the forces of the Witness, failing to stop the growth of Egregor. We watched as Zavala, who has the mental fortitude of a boulder, crumble to the torment of his nightmares. At what point will our own anguish and regrets break our fortitude? I expect that that time is coming. As this week's final mission concluded, we discovered an audio recording from Eris in the Helm. I've spoke about this a few times already. In this audio message, Eris speaks to the Drifter, who is on his own side mission in the Reef, a mission that she doesn't want him to speak to us or the Vanguard about, and that she has discovered secrets within the Lunar Pyramid that they need to discuss. Whatever reckless plan brings you to the Reef need not be shared with the Vanguard or the Guardian, but keep me informed at the very least. I have something that will be of interest to you. The Lunar Pyramid remains rife with secrets. Meet with me, and we will discuss what I have found. The implications of this message are huge. To start, I find it extremely unlikely that Eris would be naive enough to not know Guardians would be able to access this message, relayed through the helm. We've been able to pick up every other broadcast, so why would Eris think that we would not hear this? I actually think Eris knew that we would hear this message, but that she doesn't want the Drifter to be the one debriefing with us about it. Eris knows a thing or two because she's seen a thing or two. She even says she wonders what your nightmare would look like. I have stared into the eyes of my pain made manifest, pleaded with it, raged at it. What face would your nightmare wear? I think this was a double question, meant for the Drifter and for us to consider for ourselves. She goes on to speak of her own mental and emotional clarity now that she's found peace with her nightmares. For so long, I believed peace was beyond my reach. No more. I have found it in guiding others down the same path that saved me. The Reef holds significant importance to the Guardian as well. It was the Reef, within the Prison of Elders, that Cade died. While his corpse might have been relocated to the Tower, a nightmare of Cade could still remain deep within the Prison of Elders. 
It is also the reef at the border of light and darkness that the drifter first encountered Egregore and trapped some of it for himself. We've seen that in his ship. With how the Egregore has spread from the Leviathan and now into the helm, it's quite possible that the drifter's mission to the reef could result in the spreading of more Egregore across the galaxy, setting Guardians up to come to the drifter's aid in season 18. And this could lead us to traverse deep into the prison of elders to discover that the Egregore has started to spread here and has now latched itself to Cade, creating the nightmare of Cade for Guardians to confront. Egregore is drawn to the unique psychological phenomenon that comes from the death of sentient beings, and like we've seen it take the shapes of Gaul, Safia, and Prince Aldrin, we could see Egregore do the same for Cade 6, using our own regrets and anguish against us. Cade wouldn't be the only sentient being that died in the Prison of Elders though. This could certainly set up the return of many Destiny 1 enemies like Skolos to return as Nightmares in Season 18. It's important to remember that the spread of Egregore through the Leviathan and the Nightmares that have ensued have all come from Kallus and the powers of the darkness, and that this entire season we have merely been playing into Kallus's and the Witnesses' plan. This Egregore is not just an impure manifestation of darkness when it comes to Kallus, it is a weapon and the witness is a master at manipulation. Everything that has happened since the Traveler arrived to the Soul System and everything that happens going forward is all part of the witness's plan for the final shape. These nightmares were used to target the weaknesses of our heroes to set up the next collapse. And at the center of this collapse might very well be the nightmare of Cade 6 the one weapon the darkness could use to truly bring down the Guardian. Will Guardians be strong enough to overcome the Nightmare of Cade though? Could we really pull the trigger? I hope the day never comes, but based on these details and how the Witch Queen expansion has developed so far, I think it's extremely likely that we will see Cade and others return in some form in the upcoming seasons and expansions. While some might look at this as Bungie lacking creativity, constantly re-rendering old things, I look at this as an exceptional feat of creativity. To continuously create new content while also funneling in the nostalgia that made us fall in love with the game in the first place is something that mirrors the adaptations of the MCU, taking fan favorite stories from the comics and readapting them into new stories for newer fans and older fans to both fall in love with. The real downside is that we as fans are always hungry for more, and that type of pressure is hard for any well-branded company to maintain for a decade. So for Bungie to do that, and planning to do it for decades to come, I tip my hat and say thank you. So Guardians, what are your thoughts on the return of Cade 6 as a nightmare in Season 18? Do you think you could pull the trigger on your dear old friend Cade if you had to? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and let me know what you think will happen to our heroes in Season 18. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, then please be sure to help support the channel below by hitting that like button, along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated and really do help support the channel. And if you haven't done so yet, be sure to check out the Discord link in the description below where you can join up with some of the most amazing guardians in this community and get help in some of those tough activities. Until next time guardians, this has been Profane wishing you all some happy hunting.